Hey folks, excited to be here today with our good friends Jerry and Dan from Monson Sporting Goods who represent Hoyt in Canada and they got four exciting things to announce with us today that we're holding here. Tell us about them Dan. Great, thanks a lot for having us guys. Uh, yeah, we're really excited about these four new bows that, that Hoyt's recently uh, released on the market. The Carbon RX-5 and the Venom Series bows. Uh, awesome products. So the first bow we're going to show here is the one Paul's carrying. It's the Carbon RX-5 the compact 30 inch version of it. Uh, great little bow. Jerry here is holding the Carbon RX-5 Ultra. So 34 inch bow, a little longer. Great, uh, we'll talk about that. And Keith and I are holding the Venom Series bows. Keith has the 33 and I'm holding the 30, the little compact hunting version. Um, so what are the main differences though? So besides, you, you mentioned draw length, or draw, or sorry, axle to axle lengths. What is the difference between the Venom Series and the RX Series? The RX series is a carbon riser bow. Same cam, HBX cam, same limb configuration. Hey, we have uh, the carbon riser gives you extra strength, seven times more strength than your aluminum riser. Which which does matter. Something accidents on a hunting trip, yep. Yep, accidents do happen, mishaps. You know, if you unfortunately drive over your bow or drop it out of a tree stand. It's just tough, it's yep. durable. Yep. Exactly. And then the carbon riser is a lighter riser. Yep. And uh, most importantly, in my opinion, that extra warmth you get at the end of the day when the sun's already gone down that last half an hour, it can get pretty cold. Talking like a whitetail hunter here. Yeah, <laughs> so you're, you're holding on to a carbon riser, which is, gives you 200 times more warmth than aluminum. So what about, you mentioned the HBX cam. That one's, I'm not, that's a new one, right? Yeah, the HBX cam, this cam system is the first time Hoyt's ever incorporated a cam of this type. It's super smooth, really fast and very, very little vibration in the grip. The cam itself incorporates over five inches of draw length with two modules, so it fits everybody. 99% of yep. archers are gonna be able to use that, that system. Peak weights from 30 pounds to 80 pounds. So that's even a big deal for the growing archer. Like, I mean, you know, there's a big segment in the market that get, kids are getting into really good quality equipment younger now. Excellent and point. as a father, one of the things I think about is, can my kid grow with something? Yeah, he can, this, start this, at, he can start at 25 inches and end at 30. Yeah, and because it's a significant investment, but really, you're making a significant investment that will last that kid through those entire years. Forever. Not, Not really. to mention, I just, I like, you know, it's a great investment for me too. I'm done growing, but it's still, it, it, it hits a, a wider group of people. Yeah. yeah, you get your money's worth out of the lifetime warranty. <laughs> ah, very good point as well. Now, I'm seeing some features on these bowls that I haven't seen before. So the way the sight mounts on, a bit of stabilizer stuff. Dan, what, what's going on there? What's yeah, the Hoyt's done some pretty cool stuff this year. Uh, first, we'll talk about their new Picatinny inline sight mount. So you can mount your sight directly on the front of the bow, which just gives your, it just allows the balance. It's The balance is perfect. I mean, there's no more, they've eliminated that side uh, sight bracket. Uh, which could be an average of four ounces that right there. The Picatinny system we know from guns is on the front. It's brought to the front. Tiny Rock little solid, yeah. super durable. It's never going to move. They actually have the same system they introduced two years ago on their rest. So it's as well on a dovetail Picatinny mount on the uh, on the back of the riser as well. So all the weight of the bow is is directly in the center. So it, this this bow is so balanced. It's 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 they've done a nice job. Really noticeable this year is the new short stack stabilizer position. They've put this out front along with their shock pods. They, they, this eliminates so much, so much vibration and sound. It's incredible how quiet these bows are. It's, it's crazy. So those are some nice new features on these bows. There's gotta be a weight savings there too, isn't there? I mean, most stabilizers would be attached there and trying to reach out this far. So there's all that extra material. They've accomplished the same thing or better with a tiny little stabilizer. Exactly. This is equivalent to a seven inch stabilizer being mounted in your stabilizer position. Right, right. So these are, it's funny, in the industry, every so often you come out with these, you know, things that just make you go, wow. Those are two of them right there that I think everybody has to look back and say, why didn't someone think of this sooner? Yeah. As well, this is also another great feature, the SL side mount. So you could, if you want to run a side stabilizer to offset your quiver, this little SL side mount is so smooth with how it works. It's just, it's perfect. So to put this into the hunting perspective for guys like us, we didn't grow up shooting the world championships at 3D courses, which we love to do and have fun with. We love to hunt and these take in a lot of forgiveness and a lot of opportunity. Talk about smoothness and no vibration and brace height and all those things. 
Those are built for guys like us who just love to get out there and be as accurate as possible, but have bows that can give us the best advantage we can to shoot smooth and shoot accurately, be lightweight, be balanced. All those things we talk yep. about as triggers and why we'd want them, but these bows do it all. The three of us could grab a different bow here and go from BC to Newfoundland, from whitetails to moose, from long range prairie stuff and cover every aspect of it. I think you're gonna be pretty pumped when you shoot these. You're gonna be, uh... That's exciting. I'm excited. I think it's time, let's, let's shoot them. Okay, thanks guys. That's the first time I shot, that is one of the smoothest bowls I've ever shot. And absolutely dead in the hand too. Beautiful, cannot wait to get hunting with those this fall. Oh my goodness.